Hi, I'm Ryan North. I'm Lori Fungi. I'm Jalen Smiley. And I'm Sean Wilson. You're listening to Foster Family Matters, a production of CK Family Services. We are people united through God to enhance the physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being of at-risk children and families. And welcome back to Foster Family Matters. Man, that feels good. It has been too long since I have said that, and I am so excited that you have decided to tap on this and listen to us once again. Guys, uh, oh my gosh, I feel like it's been, what has it been, like 10 years? How long has it been it since we got together? It feels like it, doesn't it? It's been L- a minute. L- like in the studio? <laughs> gosh, uh, like 15 months now, I think. Yeah. It, legit. Like it was, yeah, probably the last episode that we recorded may have been actually like in the studio. Was it 2019? I don't, I don't think I we got a chance to record anything in 2020. It's, it's been a minute. As we tried. Say. We we put, we get an A for effort. We we definitely tried doing it virtually. We got a few. Absolutely. Out We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> We're back and better black. than ever. Oh, uh, man, is that possible? I'm not sure. <laughs> Yet to be determined. Hopefully. So your, your, first, your, your first bit of homework... <laughs> Well, so so I feel like this there's there's this awkward awkwardness about the fact that there are actually four folks on camera right now. Um, maybe it's it wasn't awkward, awkward until I just said that. Awkward, Sean. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah. That's what that's thanks a, a lot. That's 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 my job. That's my job. Mission mission accomplished. But um, <laughs> seriously, so somebody somebody introduce our new uh, show host. I okay, would love I'll do to. It since now. Well, Go no, ahead, I want, are we going to argue? I know, you, I, I know you wanted to. She's really that special, ladies and gentlemen. Like Ryan and I oh fight over gosh. her in a myriad of different ways. I mean, but I will let Ryan do the honors. Number one, he's got that accent. And number two, you. I'm probably going to sprinkle some niceties throughout the rest of this time together anyway. So you're going to hear a lot of uh, us talking hold, about Jalen. We're Jaylen. going to hold you to that. Well, uh, I need like I'm a sprinkle sound effect. So thrilled. So thrilled that my dear friend, Jalen Smiley, is joining us here. Um, I am not, don't really have to introduce Jalen because, like, everybody on the planet knows her already. Um, but, but, but the reason that I'm excited is because legitimately, Jalen, there is, like, like, I have submitted a list in writing to my wife of other women who I love. And you are on that very short list. Like, my wife knows that I love you. You are an amazing woman, a dear friend. And I am so thrilled that we get to do this thing together because you're engaging, you're fun, you're insightful, you're a thoughtful, prayerful person. And it is my great joy that we get to share you with uh, our audience. So very kind, Ryan. Thank you. And to Lori, you too. It's wonderful to, you know, have people fighting. Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's so crazy. No, Thank not. you. I'm excited. It is. It, be honest. It feels good, yes. It feels good, yes. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. You guys are crazy. But that's what we need, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> in yeah. this world she that we that work like in. It's a bad thing. No, it's not. It's really not. It's needed. It's needed. We'll go crazy if we don't laugh every now and then. Uh, well, I'm a little disappointed that once Sean hit record, everybody like started behaving better because it was a lot funnier before he hit that <laughs> record button. <laughs> it always is. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, like I have Kleenex to prove it. Yes. We need yes. more footage. Yes, yes. How very exciting, though, to join the group. The What were y'all called before? I mean, I know this is the fam, Foster Family Matters podcast, but was there like three Musketeers, the three? No. I think I think it was just Sean and the other two, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> that sounds oh, right. I oh, was going to okay. say the remarkable three. However, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm rethinking uh, my response right say, now. I- <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I was going to say it was called mm-hmm. Sean and Laurie and some funny sounding bloke. <laughs> I was going to say Laurie same mirror and the for us. <laughs> S- Same mirror for us, Ryan. Looking glass. 
<laughs> so so let's do uh, let me interject let's uh, Jalen is joining the show everybody and um, we are really excited to have her uh, have her come in um, she's not just somebody off the street many of you probably already know her if you have a relationship with CK Family Services just as a quick reminder CK Family Services is the organization that we all work for sponsors this podcast if you'd like to find out more about CK Family Services, you can visit the website at www.ckfamilyservices.org. Um, but tell us, tell us, Jaylen, a little bit about yourself. Give kind of a brief, you know, elevator pitch uh, style introduction for us. Uh, who are you? Uh, what do you do for CK? Tell us anything that you that you want to tell us about yourself, hobbies, kids. Who does your pets, hair? I mean, who does like your that. hair? All that. Wow. Wow. Well, no, I'm Jay Lynn, not Jay Lynn Smiley, not ma'am, Jay Lynn, just Jay Lynn. Uh, no, really, because uh, that happened when you said elevator like pitch. Someone was like, give me all of this. I'm Jay Lynn, the one one word diva. No, I'm really yeah, not. Sorry. Like, like Prince and Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But I um, came to CK. Ooh, ooh. When was it? No, it's 11 years ago um, in the recruitment department. I actually started out as a part timer to answer the phones uh, from families calling to become foster parents. And we quickly learned that you can't do that in 20 hours a week because <laughs> the Lord is constantly giving us families to speak to. He's blessing us with phone calls. And before we knew it, we were up to 100 calls. So I um, then went on to full time and I've been working with the recruitment department, going out into the community, working with churches, speaking at schools, speaking to one or one thousand doesn't matter to me um, about becoming a foster parent and adoptive parent, um, trying to find those diamonds in the rough, uh, if you will, families that are committed to our kiddos, good, bad, indifferent, ugly, whatever is going on. They can love them um, in the interim while they're um, kind of navigating these what I call adult waters, you know, because children didn't do anything to come into care at all. Um, and, but there's so much happening around them and it's, uh, come kind of a personal thing for me, whether I was working at CK or not. Um, but, the the Lord kind of placed me here. I met Bill and Karen years and years ago when they were starting out actually, uh, with CK and just the way that all that came together, um, when my son had actually had a, some brain surgeries too, actually in, in that year. And, um, I needed something to, you know, to do, get outside of the medical wall, still take care of him, definitely still take care of him. Um, but, uh, the Lord worked it out where there needed to be someone in this position, talking to families that had that experience. And I'd worked at CPS for a number of years and, um, a couple of other child placing agencies that aren't uh, doing foster care, excuse me, anymore. Um, and it was just, his timing right on time. And um, now I serve as the director of the recruitment department, something we've never had before. <laughs> so that's just been interesting how all of that came together um, as well. But I serve with a team of wonderful people um, who dig, dig, dig deep and are working for kiddos. And it just, it makes it fun. There's some rough days. Yesterday was a rough day. Last week was a rough day. Um, but I'm just reminded that, um, things like this, even though it seems it is fun. I know it will be, um, it still plants seeds. And if that means that the seed is planted today and I get to talk to this family two years from now, that's fine with me because the Lord's timing is always best. So a little bit about me. I'm I'm married, three boys, grocery bill out the wazoo. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, that's all like you I need to know. The, Pray for me. <laughs> I told my wife like the other day that. Yeah, I mean, like I could drive a Mercedes Benz if we didn't have to feed six children. 
Yes. Yes. I well, and Jay, I remember. Jay, well, and Jay, there, you know, you can't blame the boys too much because Jalen's such a phenomenal cook. So she, she feeds them well and loves on them well and cares for them well. They're they're my boys. What's funny is that they started back in person uh, last week, and the school serves them lunch. And when I pick them up from school, they're like, mm, "Yeah, I'm hungry." <laughs> Why, baby? Then hold a candle to mama's food. It was lacking a little onion powder, a little salt, (laughs) a little basil. I was like, (laughs) I love it. Basil. Like the schools even know what that is. I know. I know. I'm teaching them to cook, though, because I want them to leave my nest and know how to feed themselves and not just a can of Chef Boyardee. But if it is, you know, you add a little something even to the can. So, yeah. A little basil. Just a quick announcement for all you. For all you cafeteria ladies out there, send your hate letters to <laughs> Sean Wilson at ckfamilyservices.org. Surprise, you didn't say Ryan. I North. wasn't implying anything. I was trying, I'm, t- I'm trying to take the hit for the team here. I'm trying to get a little there like. You go. <clears throat> I'm behind the eight ball. I called us the Sean and the other two guys. I got to like, or the other two people. I got to, uh, you know, I got to make up for some. It's some Lori damage. and the gents. Well, and now it's the ladies. Lara and the gents. gents. <laughs> yes. Lori and the, it sounds like Benny and the Jets. I was getting ready to say. Don't Lori sing and the it. Jets. We don't have a budget for that. Oh, she sang oh, it. Gosh. Oh, that, yeah. oh that's right. right. I forgot. I totally <laughs> that's okay. forgot. The shimmy is right. back. If you're only listening to the audio of this, find the video. We're, we're only going to have budget shimmying. to help. We're only going to have budget to help 399 kids now this year, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oops. Sorry. I'm sure I that forgot. 400th kid will be fine with it. It's no, not I, even I, just I, I go on the rights. <laughs> oh, come on. There's uh, there's opportunity for... Anyways, save me, Ryan. No, I was just saying, I was, well, I'm not sure if I'm saving anything, but I was really enjoying um, Lori and Jalen, sort of their synchronized shimmying over there. Again, shameless plug for consume this on video, not just on audio. <laughs> hey, Good point, man. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Hey, it's 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 been it's been what fifteen months since we did this. We we we, we try to record a few of them sort of with the internet like this. So so maybe a little bit of a, of an update. Um, I'll go first uh, since since I'm talking. And that was uh, since last we spoke. I've had three surgeries, lost twenty five pounds, and uh, and I'm in better health. So I suppose I did come back better, Sean uh, or Lori. One of you said we came back better. I did, and I felt I meant it. <laughs> I feel like Ryan should have gone last. I feel like that's like <laughs> that's, that's like a, an overcomer story. You are <laughs> Who you're wants the to hero that? of okay. tonight's Lori, podcast. Well, do I really have to be? <laughs> um, in 15 months, we survived and are surviving COVID fairly unscathed. Um, it's just always such a joy to be back in the presence of these two gentlemen. And now we have one of my favorite additions. I am thrilled. Number one because Jalen's absolutely phenomenal. Number two, I always like a little extra dose of estrogen, especially with these two. So I'm very, very <laughs> excited for the balance yes. of that. What does especially with these two mean? I'd like you to elaborate on that. The well, Lord heard your not. prayer. I don't think an elaboration is necessary. <laughs> you keep me I on my toes. I figured it out in five minutes. I think Lori's feeling a little sassy tonight. <laughs> I feel a little, little sassy. A little bit. Deservedly so. I felt Thank it in you. five minutes. Yeah. She's like, the Lord heard your prayers. Now. But I really am super, super excited. I'm excited for us to launch, relaunch rather, with um with just kind of new and better than ever. We've been brainstorming and the wheels have been turning for the past couple of weeks of what kind of things we want to share with you. And the more we talk about it, the more excited I get. Um, I'm really ready to put some more tools in y'all's toolbox, And I'm just hopeful that we'll be able to do that in a relatable, fun, um, lively way. And one that's hopefully and perfectly a little entertaining, at least for your ears and maybe <laughs> your eyes. Uh, I don't know what Cause it is. Cause at CK, we shimmy. <laughs> we we shimmy at CK. No. <laughs> oh, hey, can I add something to 2020? Me, mm-hmm. me and Fungi yes. both had COVID. <laughs> We did. I'm just giving all, all the reasons why we why we couldn't record surgeries and COVIDs. And a secondary infection. And Ryan. 
Oh, yeah. And Ryan, remember when we, we you thought that me and you might have had it in January or February before it was called yes. COVID? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm-hmm. Um, oh, oh, by the way, I, I, I do I do want to share something really, really that I think is good news with you guys. Uh, this is being recorded on May the 4th. That's only important for what I'm about to say. It's Tuesday. Yesterday was the first Monday since October that I did not have a doctor's appointment. That is impressive. Oh, wow, so yes. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Happy yesterday that I didn't have to get up at 6.30 a.m. to the doctor's office. No. Well, See, I was throw, going in the direction of should we send a sympathy card to your doctor? Like, is he going to be okay? Right. <laughs> no, I, it was no, weird. I mean, he it was is more weird. than okay. It felt like I was missing out with a friend. Can With Charles. Funky's mic. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it. Um, <laughs> I mean, my dear friend Lori. <laughs> so let me try. Let me try to. Uh, let me try to wrangle this this conversation back in. So, folks, this this episode, as you may have already figured out, is is kind of just a uh, a reintroduction, um, a chance for us to to reach back out and say hi, and we're here, and and we're going to be producing more new content in the coming uh, weeks and months. An introduction uh, for Jay Lynn, and just in case we weren't clear enough before, I think it's important to to really put a uh, a fine point on Jay Lynn is a new show co host alongside. Um, alongside the rest of us. Um, so we're super excited to have her uh, bring her breadth and depth of experience and knowledge and and witty stories and, and great facial expressions um, uh, to the uh, to the, to the show. So Ryan mentioned already, if you happen to be listening to this as a podcast only, I just need to to throw out a couple of quick plugs for our other channels. We'll be uploading this as a we recorded as a video, and so we'll upload that and share that uh, on YouTube, uh, also on Facebook. Um, just real quick, kind of around the horn, you can find us anywhere that you uh download podcasts presumably you've already found us somewhere uh i'm i'm assuming is that safe you think okay yes i'm looking for confirmation it's fair fair. okay Mm -hmm. i'm just you know always insecure i'm insecure um and (laughs) we'll talk about it later sean (laughs) that'll be that'll be a whole episode um, but, uh, you can also find us. So if you're not finding us on YouTube, for example, you can find us most, most everywhere at CK fam services with an S on the end of it. C K F A M S E R V I C E S. I did it. Yeah. Uh, so that's our at pretty much everywhere. Um, you can find, uh, snippets of this most likely on maybe even the, uh, Instagram, uh, you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on YouTube, you can find us wherever podcasts are able to be downloaded. Um, and you're missing out a lot of visual enjoyment if, if you're only listening to the audio. Um, so let's, uh, I think for this one, let's, let's go ahead and start. We're about 15 or 16 minutes into this one. We wanted to keep this one kind of short just to, to kind of, uh, you know, do a, a quick introduction for Jay Lynn, let you guys know that there's, there's more, uh, coming down the pipeline as, as Lori kind of alluded to, we're really excited to, to kind of get back in your ears. Oh, yeah. uh, that, okay was that, that a sound effect? Oh, okay, I like yeah. it. And We're your eyes. Really excited should to get you watch it. Just back into your ears, back into your eyes. We're like, we're like, yeah, we're we're a podcast. Let's keep it at that podcast and video show but um we you know primarily if you're new to the show what you can expect out of it is is going to be a lot of uh how would you describe it practical is that the right word tangible um, kind of, practical um, realistic tangible, all of it implementable right uh strategies Right on your dinner well, interventions. Kind of feel. <laughs> Let's do word association. Hey, so <laughs> can I can I just take off on the word strategy for just a second? So, yeah. So, so you know, there, there's just a lot of this this idea that that spaced repetition is the best learning strategy. I mean, like Oxford University is behind this. There's a lot of big hitters in academia that that embrace this idea, and so we get to we get to train people. Uh, but we don't get to remind people. So, the, so we do the first two parts. Right? We train people and then they experience it. But the third part of that space repetition is the reminder. Mm-hmm. And that's why like, I'm super excited about this because we don't just get to present the information in a, hey, let's present the information to inform you. But now we get to do it from a different approach where we get to talk about it 
in a way that can remind you. And so I'm excited about that because it's a great resource for our families who are part of CK Family Services who are serving the kids in, in care. But it's also a great resource for your friends who are not even connected to our agency mm -hmm. that you can share this with and say, hey, you're something that, that could just be really be, be helpful because – you know, as as we know, when you're under pressure, it's not like your 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 mind, your brain's completely integrated, and you're accessing all those higher executive <laughs> functions, right? So you need constant reminders as well. And, and you know, I would say from my personal experience, I feel like I'm a better parent because I get to talk about the stuff all of the time. Amen. You know what I mean? Because I get I get to remind myself about it. Lori reminds me about it. We train together every month, and so. Yeah, I'm just really, really thrilled about the possibilities that we have here because in equipping and supporting moms and dads it is really the way that we make um, a, a difference in the, in the lives of the kids in our community. I mean, and when we really think about it, like we have reminders for our doctor's appointments, for our vitamin, when we need to take our vitamins, when we need to start dinner, we have reminders for everything, right? And why not have reminders for one of the most important roles that we get to have as adults? And that's being a parent, whether it's for our, for kiddos that came straight from yep. us, for kiddos that are in our homes, for kiddos that the Lord blessed us with. I mean, there's just, I love that. I love that you, you, you mentioned that Ryan and could, kind of put it back to we're not necessarily here to reinvent the wheel for you and that we we don't want to we don't want to have that task or that burden we just want to share some nuggets of wisdom that that we've put into practice over the years and share that with you and and remind you of some things that you probably heard whether it was from Ryan and or I or Jay Lynn at some point in your time at CK you've heard these things from somewhere and we just want to um, like Ryan said remind and refresh but it can also plant seeds into Amen. some of our families that aren't our traditional families. Like I know that some people have shared the podcast in the past with bio families. Children are reunifying with those folks. Here's another reminder, another tool, another support mechanism that they have um, for them. So I'm excited about that part as well, because CK from since I started and, and from what I can understand since we started have been about um, pouring into at risk children and families. So this is one of those tools. Absolutely. I okay. Like it. And well, so let's uh, let's I put a bow it. on this one. I feel like that was. Oh man, she just totally trumped you with a love. Oh my God, what's this <clears> she played the about? love card. Like, like um, have you that. seen I the really size of my it. heart? There's a reason my heart's inflamed right now, and I have a condition. It's because it's too big for my body. It's a big heart. Yeah, I, I, th I think I think I think that 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 trumps my three surgeries right there. Yep, yep. It does. I don't have anything nearly that exciting. No, no. I mostly just stayed at home for the last fifteen months. Well, I mean, I ordered can, you... a lot of things in. That's true. What'd you say, Sean? I know, I, I know my Instacart delivery people by oh. first name. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, Sean," and they drop <laughs> some. It's me. Had some lovely conversations with them it's through Tom. the glass door. You didn't get the Saskatchewan beef tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Um, let's, 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 I can't let's spare, say. let's spare the people the rest of this conversation. But, um, so but, uh, here's, here's the deal guys. We're super excited to be back. We hope that those of you who, who were listeners before are, are ready to plug back in and, and engage with us. Um, you know, I want to cast forward some things that might be a possibility as we go forward. I didn't talk with everybody else on the show about this, but, but the new kind of setup that we have is affording us some opportunities that we didn't have before when we were in studio like there's the possibility that we could have live in studio virtual uh, audiences now um, where at some point over the course of the next year if we can get comfortable enough and feel like we have a fan base uh, you could you could potentially join us and and actually kind of call in and uh, participate in the show in that kind of a way yes we could do like a live call-in show let's do the next um, one like that <laughs> well, I'm ready. Well, we'll I, see. I do too. Yeah, it's my favorite part. 
so so I think what I'm trying to say is is hang around, you know, uh, and uh, and give us a go in in 2021. So I will likely be taking some sort of a diminished role in the show. And I'm sure that there are many of you who are like, man, thank God he's finally off the program. <laughs> but I'm not completely off the program. So mm, don't think that that's terrible. It's a terrible thing to think about me. Um, but, uh, but, but to be, but, but to be real, it's a little bit much maybe to have four folks kind of competing for, for time on the, on the show. And, and I'm super excited to have Jalen, uh, come in and kind of step into the place. I'll still be here. You'll probably see my face interject at all of the inappropriate times with, with comments that don't make any sense whatsoever. And, um, I'm going to try to lean into, you know, at one point last, uh, back in 2019, Ryan was like, Sean, you always drop the bombs. Like right as we're starting to close the show that's my goal i'm gonna try to like extend every episode to an hour and a half that's gonna be the, my new role i'm just gonna pop in at the point where y'all are coming to conclusion and ask a question that just like completely that wasn't in my like contract throws you back underneath the water again but nonetheless i'm just gonna be like had enough no how about now? How about, no, yeah, I mean, okay, it's, that was. It's like we speak for, for like 35 minutes and Sean says, okay, just a final thought from you guys before you close. Any ideas yeah. on uh, Einstein's theory of relativity? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sure. Well, it He's depends. Like, How can we cure the foster care crisis? And we're like, Sean. <laughs> Come That's on. a really, you know, you guys have done a really great warm up in the last 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's tackle a real topic. Yeah, to wrap things up, global hunger. Could you explain the Trinity to the ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so we, so we will so tr so traditionally how we close up the show is we kind of go around the around the room we put a bow on it everybody's got some final thoughts do you guys want to do that today with or, or do you feel like you've already done that I'm, I'm looking at some. the screen to see your reactions okay so we'll do that we'll go around the room come back to me I'll put a bow on it at the very end which, which may lead which may or may not lead to the next episode <laughs> we'll see who wants to go first I'll go first. Father, I just pray right now. <laughs> Jalen took the words out of my mouth. No, actually, what all mine have is I gotten myself into? <laughs> mine is relatively short and sweet, and very rarely will you ever hear those two words out of my mouth. Um, we've missed you this terribly. I've missed you. I'm not talking to you, Ryan North. I'm talking to all the families. We've missed you. I've missed you. Um, we love you dearly. And we are so excited because we are back better than ever. So stay tuned. I'm not offended by you. I, didn't, did, I wasn't talking to you, Ryan, because I saw you earlier today. It's like hard to miss somebody that you see. Um, and you, I'm and saying you love. Say. I was, go on. Go on. Okay. Yeah, moving on. Um, I don't, I'll, I'll agree that Lori's comments were short. I do not agree that they were sweet. Uh, my comments, however, are, <laughs> Jalen, we're so thrilled. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Jalen, we're so thrilled that you're here. Uh, and unfortunately, I have to give you a heads up since Sean is the producer of the show. I, uh, none of us can mute his mic when he asks the question at the end. So uh, <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, well, I'm glad to be back. We have tons of fun together uh, doing this. And um, I look forward to the day when we're all sitting in, in, in the studio again there in Arlington with our mics firmly mounted to those desks uh, and doing this thing together. But this is, I mean, I'm glad this technology that allows us to do it. I'm thankful for that. So I'm excited to be back. Amen, my brother. Short and sweet as well. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for thinking of me. This puts me back in my uh, foundational seat, if you will, of working in radio um, and just to be a part and talking about the things that are close to my heart. And the reason God put me here, I'm thrilled. And to have a little fun with you crazies. It just, that's just, gonna, that's y'all's name, you crazies. But it's a, it's a good crazy. It's a good crazy. You crazy. You crazy. It's a good crazy. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it, Jayla. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you very much for listening. And so my show extender today is to introduce you to our fifth host. This is this is our show plant, and uh, show plant will be taking a prominent role in 2021 as we go forward. 
um, chill plant is very opinionated and and sometimes some might say um, confrontational at times so he's he's spiky um, he prefers the name snake it's a snake plant <laughs> and uh, we'll see like more from him plant. later I like show plants I mean, like show plant. a snake plant can be a show plant, Ryan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, thanks for listening, guys. As as always, <laughs> uh, if you found value, share it. <laughs> if you found value in the show, give us a like, uh, give us a thumbs up, all that kind of thing. Share with your friends and family. Let everybody know we're back. And uh, we'll be coming to you real soon with another episode. Thanks so much. Bye. Good night. Bye.